Kind of dark and dreary out today, guys. It's a little early. Um, I had stuff to do this morning. It is now afternoon and I want to get something done to this bike. The 80, which I think is going to be a 50. But not until I try something. Something I want you to see. Can you hear that? It's spinning the motor over with just me pushing it with one hand. So, I don't know what that means, except for there's no compression. Like I, even my 50cc, the compression is not so light that I can move the bike without pushing down to get it to fire over, you know? Like I'm pushing with one hand and it's going no problem. I'm gonna replace the head on this real fast. I just wanted you guys to see the lack of compression in All right, what I'm gonna try to do is put in this cylinder I did a long while back, but we're gonna try it out because this still has chrome lining in it. And we'll see what happens. If it has compression, I will continue with fitting the carburetor and what have you. Well, tuning it. Well, I'm still gonna put it on right now to make sure. You already know the deal, you're going in my pocket. Ow! Dang it. It's definitely got more compression than before. So, I don't know what's going to happen. But we are definitely going to try and find out. Nope, nothing. Ah. <sighs> I don't even hear any fire. No spitting, no sputtering, no nothing. <sighs> so I'm gonna say it ain't working. All right, there's zero compression in that motor. So what I'm gonna end up doing with this motor is I am going to get a 50 millimeter piston and put it on there and just run my YD cylinder. And that's probably about it. But that's not gonna be for a little bit more than likely. So I'm taking this off and I'm putting my 50cc motor back on here. Not back on here, on here, period. I'm not putting her 50cc that was on here because I think mine had more power because I could get going faster than her and I weigh over 100 pounds more than her. So I'm gonna put mine on here for her and hopefully that would be good. So I'll time back in when I do something good. Well, we're back. Uh, I put my 50cc on the bike, single piece jug. This was my very first motor I ever got. This one is tried and true. Um, I put a new piston in this one about a month after I got it because it got scored up really bad. Uh, new rings because the rings broke. Uh, for the first month I had, the bottom ring was broken and just sitting in the slot, broken two places, so it was three pieces of a ring, but still ran great, put new rings in it, didn't notice much of a difference. So this is the first fire up in months for this motor. Um, just need to get my wife's bike going. 80cc has zero compression. Um, I showed you before when you were, I could push it with one hand. The bike to push with one hand and it would, it would, what you call, it would spin the tire and the engine over here. Look, let's get on pavement, let out the clutch. 
even a little 50 feet to CC got it. So, all right, the compression was definitely messed up on there. All right, let me get going. You're going in my pocket. You already know the drill. <laughs> This thing's whisper quiet too compared to my bike. Oh, that sounds like it's bogging to me. Let's see if we can't get it a little bit richer. That was nice hearing that thing sound up again, huh? Warmth, yes. Oh my gosh, my hands are cold. Whew, wee boy. All right, we gotta fatten that boy up again, huh? I moved the clip. We are now richer.
already got you, I already got myself. About them, because this was, you know, before I didn't know anything. Um, I took it apart once and cleaned it up a little bit. I bet I could get a lot more out of this. So we'll see. I might take it apart and putz around with it. Not today, though. I need it running. So, awesome. Not what we wanted, but it's what we got. And that's awesome. I got to get uh, suited up and uh, go to the store real fast. So, let me shut her down. Nice. I did not know about. That was the first motor I ever bought. I bought it a 50cc. It was just the cheapest thing I could find to get. I literally bought the cheapest one I could find just to see if this is something I would enjoy doing and would be willing to do the upkeep because it's a lot of maintenance to ride these things. The amount that I ride it or like say LA rides his, like if you ride a lot, it is non-stop maintenance on these things. I mean, you can get the things lined out where bolts aren't coming undone on you and stuff. I don't mean maintenance like that. I mean, you got to keep them greased and just go over them constantly and just double check them all the time because all you need is one thing to go wrong while you're cruising at 35 miles an hour and boom, or be far away from home and then you're stuck out there. So it just makes sense to go over them like that, but... Either way, that was my very first motor that I didn't know if I was even going to enjoy it. But I went from that right to my 100 with a reed valve, window piston. I guess you could say I enjoyed it. That's what I'm getting at. I definitely enjoy it. <laughs> it's some of the most fun I could ever have, I think. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.